Welcome to Bootstrapping in SPSS. I've opened the Candies dataset that we use a lot as an example. I'm going to do an independent samples t-test, but now I'm going to do it with Bootstrapping. So let's go to the independent samples t-test. Here it is. I want to compare candies with respect to their weight, so I used weight as the test variable. And I want to know whether red candies are more heavy than yellow candies, so I'll use color as the grouping variable and define the groups. Four for red, five for yellow candies, I happen to know that. And here we are. This is how we do an independent samples t-test. But now we're going to do bootstrapping. In SPSS, if you can do bootstrapping, there is this bootstrap button. It opens a screen, which always looks like this. And here you have to check the perform bootstrapping option. That's the main thing. Now, there are some additional choices. You can decide on the number of bootstrap samples. 1000 by default. We recommend 5000, but you can do much less if you think your computer is very slow. That's the number of bootstrap samples. Now, we can set the seed of the random generator, and basically, if we check this every time we use bootstrapping on the same data set with the same test then we will get the same results if we don't check it we can get different results because you know bootstrapping is random sampling uh, so every time you start a new you can get different results and that's fine bootstrapping yields confidence intervals so we can decide on the level of the confidence interval 95 percent is a good choice and we can select one of two ways of calculating the confidence intervals, percentile or bias corrected. We recommend to use bias corrected. That's it. So we can continue. We're ready now. We can paste the syntax and we can run the syntax, which we will do in the next video. See you there.